I'm Ruth Cowles, librarian at the Burge District Library, and joining me today is my daughter, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hello. Thanks for joining us. So mm -hmm. Nancy's here because she introduced me to the TV series Hannibal a couple of weeks ago, and I want to introduce it to all of you because it's great. So Nancy, how did you first find Hannibal? Um, well... A few years back, eighth grade freshman year, I was watching Silence of the Lambs for the first time and I really liked Anthony Hopkins' portrayal of Hannibal Lecter and the character himself, so I did some research on him and then found the TV show and then I binge watched it online. Very cool. But before we get into the TV series, I want you to know that the TV series and movies were all based on a series of books written by Thomas Harris. And the first book in the series is called Red Dragon. He wrote that in 1981. The second book is Silence of the Lambs. That's the one most people know. Mm -hmm. That's the one you just mentioned and won tons of awards back in the day when it came out. And that was written in 1988, but the movie came out in 91. The third book is called Hannibal. And he wrote that in 1999. So after Silence of the Lambs came out. And then the last book was written in 2006 called Hannibal Rising, but that's actually a prequel. So you see how Hannibal became Hannibal. And that's a pretty cool book, right? I liked it. Nancy's read all the books. Which one did you like the best? Um, probably Silence of the Lambs. Uh, there was no mistake there. I really like Clarice as a character and I really like Hannibal's characterization in that one. So if you're looking to borrow any of these books, you can go ahead and get those off of our uh, Overdrive or Libby by Overdrive. And it comes in audiobooks and in ebooks that you can read. If you're using Hoopla, you'll only be able to listen to Red Dragon and Silence of the Lambs. But Hoopla actually has the soundtracks to Red Dragon, Silence of the Lambs, and Hannibal, those movies. So that's pretty cool. So check that out on Libby or Hoopla. But let's get to why we're really here. The TV series Hannibal. So this was released April 4th, 2013, which was seven years ago. It ran for three seasons uh, by NBC. It was rated TV 14. If you want to see the TV series, you'll have to stream it off of Amazon Prime or Netflix. So let's see who was in this television series, shall we? So the main character, Hannibal Lecter, was played by... Maz Mickleton. Okay, so even though it looks like Mads Mickelson, we're pronouncing it... Maz Mickleton, because he's Danish. And that's how you correctly pronounce his name. Although I'm sure other people have pronounced it incorrectly before. And he seems like a nice guy in interviews. So I think Maz would be okay with that. Uh, Maz Mickelson's um, performance, and I'm going to say this, and I think Nancy will disagree with me, but <laughs> I felt that Mickelson's uh, Hannibal was played in a very charming and elegant way that made it, you want to sell your soul to him as opposed to the way that I felt that um, Anthony Hopkins played him in the movie, where he was just a super creepy guy. Well, he did that on purpose to mess with Clarice. He is a gentleman. I would sell my soul to Anthony Hopkins. How dare you? <laughs> and also, you said his name wrong. Oh, I did. I'm sorry. Maz, please forgive me. Another actor in the series that did an excellent job is the British actor Hugh Dancy, who plays Will Graham. Will Graham, <laughs> who's the FBI profiler. He can see the crime scene through the killer's eyes, and they do that a lot in this series. So they kind of do like this little flash left, flash right, flash left thing, and then he goes into that. And he's the tormented soul that goes to Hannibal for some extra help. Actually, Lawrence Fishburne's character, Jack Crawford, was the one who was like, hey, let's use Hannibal Lecter because he's this brilliant psychiatrist. And uh, Hugh Dancy's little puppy dog eyes just lull you into thinking, oh, he needs so much help. Let's go help him. That's what Hannibal thought too, because those eyes. 
Oh, but I think uh, Will has more going for him than what we think at first. And you see that throughout the show. Nancy, who else did you like in the show? Well, you mentioned Jack Crawford, played by Lawrence Fishburne. Uh, some of you may recognize that name from the Science of the Lambs movie. He was uh, Clarice's superior as if she, like as she was just a trainee and he kind of used her to get information on the case. He does the same thing with Will in the series and he's played brilliantly. And then there's also Dr. Alana Bloom, Alan Bloom in the Red Dragon book, who is Will's psychiatrist. She is played by Carolyn Davernes and she is a great character. Yes, she, well, okay. <laughs> so she's not one of my favorite characters. She's fun. Um, but she is very necessary to the story. So, uh, and um, Caroline does a very nice job. All of the actors in this TV series, and I don't say this much, but all of the actors in the TV series did an excellent job with their roles. You really feel for them. You, you get sucked into their character. It was written very well. It was acted very well. Some of the others that you see on the screen are from the FBI. And then there's Freddie Lowndes, who's a journalist. And um, we're going to go to the next screen and introduce some more characters to you. So on this screen, we have more of the secondary characters, but still super important to the TV series. So Nancy, why don't you pick one that you really like? Uh, I would definitely have to go with Dr. Frederick Chilton. Uh, a name you may also recognize, again, from the movies or if you've read the books, the books. He is played by Raul Esparza in this version of the show. And he did a, he watched Silence of the Lambs a lot and paid attention to his mannerisms. Uh, the guy who played Dr. Chilton, his mannerisms in the Silence of the Lambs film, and he mimics them very well. He was very fun. He did. He did a great job. And you can see how he does act just like the guy from the Silence of the Lambs. It's really, it, it's really cool. Maz also watched Anthony Hopkins mm -hmm. and uh, studied his portrayal as well. And um, you can see that influence in his acting choices as well. Uh, another person that a lot of people might be looking at and going, I know her, is Gillian Anderson. Uh, she plays Dr. Bedelia du Maurier. And uh, she was also on the X-Files as Scully. And she was also a uh, psychiatrist there. On this show, she plays a psychiatrist for Hannibal Lecter. What job? <laughs> I can only imagine the story <laughs> she heard. <laughs> for me, show. And then someone else you may um, recognize is Eddie Izzard, who is a comedian. He plays Abel Gideon and adds some nice comedy to a very dark TV series. There is comedy all the way through it, actually, like, oh, though. If you're not saying that Hannibal's hilarious, you're wrong, because he's <laughs> hilarious. What's one of your favorite lines from um, Hannibal? At the dinner party, and he's like, oh, keep in mind, nothing here is vegetarian. I'm just like, hey, I see what you're doing. <laughs> and then there's Francis Dollaride, another big name if you've seen either the movie or read the Red Dragon book. He is the Red Dragon himself. And he is a very important character in season three. And he is played by Richard Armitage, also known as Thorin Oakenshield. Yeah, that's right. And you can hear that voice and go, wow, I've heard that voice before. And then if you've seen The Hobbit, all three of those movies, you'll understand why. And he does an excellent job with his character as well. I didn't even know it was uh, Thorin until you told me, Nancy. <laughs> so now with um, the show... A lot of the uh, appeal of the show is the style of Hannibal. Um, I have to do some shout outs here. This is thanks, the style for the show is thanks to Matthew Davis, the production designer on the series, as well as producer Brian Fuller's unusual approach to style and shooting. And one more shout out goes to Christopher Hargadon, the costume designer responsible for the show. Now, look at these suits of Hannibal. These are beautiful. Hannibal always maintains some sort of a uniform. He really likes having the three-piece, two-button suits, as you can see in the bottom two. On the left, he's wearing his tuxedo, and he always had uh, some bold patterns or some bold colors going for him as well. The upper right-hand picture, though, is one of Nancy's of my favorite suits. Nancy, can you tell them what we call that? The murder suit. That's the murder suit. 
<laughs> That's so he doesn't have to spend a fortune on dry cleaning or even try to explain why a lot of his suits come back with blood. You know. His shirt was white before. It's pink now, wasn't it? <laughs> you know, Hannibal, he's always thinking ahead. So another thing that uh, Hannibal does, which I love, is that he does a full Windsor knot on his tie. And you don't see those very often anymore. And that is really great. So Hannibal is definitely a man of elegance and um, he has some very expensive cravings, shall we say, both in his personal style and in his culinary style. (laughs) Which is a human long thing. (laughs) Another thing that the TV show has done considerably well is having all the departments on the show work as a collective team. It's evident that everyone from the music department to the food styling to costume, makeup, and production worked hand in hand to give the show a certain poetic feel that is consistently beautiful. And is uh, I was reading that you got to see some of the sets on the show. It was beautiful. Please try out that show. So the series received critical acclaim with the performance of the lead actors and the visual style of the show being singled out for praise. The first two seasons won the Saturn Awards for Best Network Television Series and Best Actor for Mickelson, Mickleton, mm-hmm. sorry, <laughs> and Dancy, respectively, with Lawrence Fishburne winning Best Supporting Actor for Season 2. The third and final season won the inaugural Best Action Thriller television series, while guest star Richard Armitage won Best Supporting Actor. The show has garnered a cult following and is considered by critics and audiences as one of the best series of the horror genre and one of the best TV series of all time. And if you fall in love with the show, they'll call you what, Nancy? Hannibal. A fanable. I'm a fanable. Are you a fanable? Yeah. We hope you'll also become a fanable. Please check it out, and we thank you very much for watching our video. Bye. Okay. What do you think? Yeah,